Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke and today we have another user requested tutorial. We had a user wanting to achieve an animation like the following. So as I scroll, you can see that these two sections kind of open up like this. Now it is a little bit laggy on my system. Uh, underneath there's an image and the scale is getting smaller as I scroll down. And then as I scroll back up, uh, we have the reverse effect. So I'm going to show you today how to create something like this. And hopefully with motion page, we will not have uh, these performance issues. Uh, I think this is using Framer, so I'm, I'm not sure why it's lagging like this. Anyway, uh, let's get started. So uh, I will be using Bricks Builder for this. And I've just created a page called Split Section. And I'm just going to open this in Bricks. All right, so the first thing I want to do is create a section. Inside we have a container. So if we take a look at this, um, we can use the main section parent as the pinned element. And then inside we can do three containers. One container is going to be underneath containing the image. And then we have this also as a container. And then we can use the bottom half as a container as well. So three containers in total. All right, so here I have my main container. I'm just going to call this under. And this is going to contain our background image. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate this two more times. And then let's do top half. And we'll call this one bottom half. Okay, so on my main section here, what I'm going to do is just get rid of all of the padding because I want these containers to be flush uh, to the edges. All right, so first uh, let's give this a class. So this will be easier to target in motion page. So I'm going to give this a class of split section and then let's go to layout padding and we'll just put all these to zero. And also if you look at this um, original one, you can see that these two halves are going off the screen. So I want to set the main parent section uh, to have an overflow of hidden. All right, so we'll do that as well. So we'll scroll down here. We'll go to overflow type hidden in here and then because I want these to be contained on top of the image, uh, the image is going to be set to absolute. So that means our section also needs to be relative. So position relative. And I've just realized I made a small typo here with my class. So I'm just going to fix that here. Okay. So rename uh, from this to this one, rename. Okay. And save it. Okay. So that should be everything for our main section here. Now let's go to our background section here. So split section, I'm going to call this split section background. On here, I'm going to set the margin to be zero. So it is flush and I want to make sure that the width is a hundred percent. And I also want to make sure that this is taken up the uh, full height of the screen as well. So we'll do height 100 viewport height. And actually we can uh, put that on minimum height like so. So remember, I want the top half and bottom half to sit inside of this. So I'm going to set this to be position absolute. All right, just like that. Perfect. Uh, the last thing I need to do is add a background image. So I'll go to background and I've just chosen an image from Unsplash. I'll do custom URL here and then I want to make sure to center everything. All right, and I'm noticing that it's getting cut off here. So let's just make sure that our section uh, also has a min height of 100 viewport height. Okay, and that should fix that situation. Next, we have our top half and bottom half. So once again, let's give these classes. So I'm just going to copy this from here. And instead of background, let's do top half. And then we'll do the same here. Just call this one bottom half. All right, so on the top half, what I want to do is I want to come here and I want to center align everything. And then I also want to put everything to the bottom because we will be adding a text to this. Then let's give it a background. So let's just do background body like that. And then we need to make sure that it is sitting on top. So I'm just going to go to layout Z index one. So now I can actually see it. So, uh, Margin needs to be zero, zero, like so. We need to give it 100% width. And the height wants to be 50 viewport height, like that. So it's taking up exactly half. Okay, cool. Now we'll do the same once again for the bottom half. So once again, we'll do zero, zero. Width is 100% D index one. So we can see it on top. We'll give it a background. And once again, the height will be 50 viewport height. 
And this time in here, we'll center align everything, but this time we'll put everything to the top. Okay, I'm gonna save changes. And now in the top half, let's add a text element or a header like this. So because on the uh, top half, we put everything to be aligned at the bottom. That's why the text is at the bottom here. Now we don't need to add any animations to the text in motion page. So I'm just gonna style everything on the ID here. And what I'm gonna do is I don't want any spacing. So um, I'm gonna do a line height of one. Font size, I'm gonna do 20 rem, so it's pretty big. For the actual content, let's just do, uh, let's go like this. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna put it into the bottom half like this. Okay, so each half needs to contain the same text. The next thing I'm gonna do on this one is I'm just gonna translate it by half of itself, 50%. Now, if you remember on this section, we did overflow hidden, which is why it gets cut off. And then on this one, we'll just do the opposite. So we'll translate it minus 50% of itself. So now, as you can see, it lines up quite nice. But in actual fact, we have the bottom half with one text element and the top half with another text element, which now means it looks like one element. Okay, so that's pretty much it for your setup. Um, let's go ahead and open motion page and add some animations. All right, so I'm gonna go and create a new timeline here. We'll call this split section. I'm going to target our newly created page here. And uh, let's do scroll trigger. We need to lock this to the scroll bar. I'm gonna use a short uh, timing delay here, 0.2. Uh, pinned element, we do have a pinned element and this is going to be our main section. So the class for that was split section. So we can just target that in here, split section. All right, so when the top of the section reaches the top of the viewport, which will be zero, we wanna pin it. And then once again, when the top reaches minus 100% of itself, we will unpin it. And then you can see my scroll bar is moving, which is good. It means that this is pinned because this is not moving. Then we can animate our elements while this is pinned. So we can use the same timeline here. So first let's target our top section, uh, top half, sorry, like so. And all I wanna do is on two, I wanna translate it minus 100% of itself. So as I scroll, you can see that's moving like so. Now I'm just seeing perhaps we uh, did in fact forget to add an overflow hidden. So I'm just gonna go back here and add that. Yep, you can see I missed that by accident. So overflow hidden, and I will do the same for the bottom half as well. All right, save. Let's go back to motion page and just do a small refresh here. So now you can see that's looking much better. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is duplicate this node and on this one, I'm gonna click edit. So right click, edit, and now we'll do bottom half. And we'll just do the opposite. So we'll do 100% of itself. So now it looks like this. And now there's only one thing left, which is to scale our image. And on the original, remember the image scales down. So let's add a new node here like so. And I'm going to target uh, the whole container here under, and the class is split section background, enter. Now from, I'm going to start the scale to be 1.2, and I'm going to scale it down to its original size of one. Okay, so let's take a look, and that's what it looks like. I'll save this timeline, and then in bricks, I'm just going to go and add another section underneath so that we can scroll beyond. I'll just do a height here of 100 viewport height. So we have a lot of space to work with. And now let's take a look on the front end. So I'm gonna scroll like that, unpinned, and then we continue scrolling. There's no overflow issues because on the parent section, remember we did overflow hidden. So the scroll bar is always gonna be the same size and there's gonna be no layout shifts or anything like that. And also the performance uh, is looking much better than this one as well, which is always a bonus. So there you have it guys. I hope you liked this uh, simple but effective animation. Thank you to our user who requested this. If you did like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you again in the next one. Thank you.